First of all, <clears throat> one of the things that bothers me about you, about all the LeBron lovers out there and everybody else is that y'all talk, y'all don't say this, but y'all talk as if there are people who don't appreciate the greatness that we're, we're witnessing. The man, for example, in these playoffs in four games is averaging 32, 11, and 8 on 54% shooting. Who, who doesn't know that's not great? Why, why don't you just tell us the sky is blue? Why don't you just tell us that Max Kellerman is going to wear a, 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 a black suit on Friday? I mean, that's usually the case. I mean, they are things that are just certainly predictable. It's what it is, okay? We understand that. We get all of that. So I just want to make sure because, see, this is where Max Kellerman and everybody else, this is the difference between me and y'all. I hope Rich Paul's listening. Rich Paul, LeBron James agent, who, by the way, does a great job, represents Ben Simmons, represents JR, represents Tristan Thompson. Right now he's looking pretty good considering the money they're getting paid and the absence of production that they put forth from time to time, even though at <laughs> times, obviously, in the past, they have produced. But let me say this. I hope Rich Paul is listening. I hope I hope LeBron's family is listening. I hope, I hope the friends are listening. I hope everybody else is listening. Let, just tell me, Molly, because obviously Molly, because Molly Wood, Molly Wood's in the house, what? Max Kellerman. And we want to make sure that we speak and yeah. elocute ourselves in a way that's very, very respectful and differential, what have you. I just want to make sure, Molly, I'm not missing anything. Okay. LeBron James is a great husband. Uh-huh. LeBron James is a great father. Yeah. LeBron, LeBron James is a great ambassador mm -hmm. and role model. Mm -hmm. uh, his, his philanthropy is unquestioned. <laughs> Business Charitable man, donations actor, and the like. Production the, the, company, the, the, yeah. oh, the, the foundation, the foundation, mm -hmm. sending thousands of students well, to college. I mean, I, I mean, uh, you understand? What I'm saying? I mean, the actor, the producer, mm -hmm. you know, all of this. Stuff. Did I miss anything? I just want to make sure. Did I miss Great anything? Guy. Did I, I miss anything? So. I, because, 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 God forbid, God forbid, I say anything, anything. Uh, the remotely critical about LeBron James, the world is going to stop, and mm -hmm. and 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 just Lord knows what's going to come raining down upon me. The man's and by the way, oh, did I leave out that he's the best play? Did I leave out in the, that he's the best player in the world? Did I leave that no, out? I didn't. I didn't leave that out. Did I, he's the best. Did I? Did, did, yeah, did I, leave I don't think I left that out you. either. So, so my point is this, Max Kellerman, you're tied two-two in this series against the Indiana Pacers in the first round. You've been doing everything you can. The players that you have as sidekicks haven't been doing what they're supposed to do. If Kyrie Irving were here, are we having this discussion? No, not in the first round. Thank you. And, 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 and why is Kyrie gone? <laughs> I mean, why? I mean, am I making LeBron that up? Chased I mean, him out of Cleveland. I mean, oh, oh, so, so, in other words, so in other words, what I'm saying to you is this. You're the reason. You're a primary reason that your situation is what it is. But you want, but, but we're supposed to sit here and do nothing but shower him with praise and credit because of how he looks. He looked that way last year. He looked that way a couple of years ago when they won a championship. When they lost the championship the first round, the first time to Golden State, people were saying he should have been the MVP in a losing effort. This is nothing new. We know the greatness of LeBron James. But the difficulty, the road to prosperity, this particular season is arguably more difficult than ever before, and it's his fault. It's his fault. Okay. He created you want to critique, the situation for himself. If you want to critique, so, if, if you want to critique LeBron, the GM, that's a fair criticism. <laughs> but if you do, you have to take it in totality. When he was in Cleveland the first time, before he was GM, they gave him nothing. He still dragged the team. That's true. Kicking and screaming. That's true. To the finals, right? Then he became his own GM, de facto GM. He was a part of that super team and constructing it in Miami, and then he jumped ship to Cleveland and essentially told him, trade Wiggins for Kevin Love, I'll go there, right? So then he's his own GM. And since he became his own GM, he has been to seven consecutive finals and I'd won like to go there. three. That's where I, I mean, was going. So, go ahead. That's where I was going. Here's the deal, Max Kelvin. I'm glad you brought that up. One would argue, and we just acknowledge, this has been one of the more difficult roads for LeBron James. Whereas for the past seven years, one would argue it's been relatively easy. It ain't like he's been in the Western Conference. A matter of fact, every time we've talked about him leaving, usually we're talking about him being in the even now we're talking about him staying in the East, even though right now the East is more competitive than it's been in recent memory. The fact of the matter is, is that as great as LeBron is, as great of a player as he is, he's also been highly intelligent because the road to prosperity hasn't been that difficult. The Eastern Conference has been a wash for several years. 
It hasn't even been that damn competitive, to be honest with you. There's usually just one team. There's not really anybody else. There's not a cadre of teams within the conference until this year. There were not a cadre of teams in this conference scheduled to knock you off. I'm saying to you, he's the best player in the world. I conceded. I've been conceded that. That's easy. He's that great. He looks phenomenal in these playoffs. But we're giving him credit because he's basically had to be a one-man show in this series, well, why the hell are you a one-man show? Because you had an opportunity but, but to be Stephen a two-man a, show, and you didn't, and uh, you didn't do what you could to protect that relationship. That is 